It gives me immense joy to sail through the 80 glorious years of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. As we celebrate the Oak Jubilee, I feel overwhelmed to relive memories. Our Lady of Good Counsel High School started on a hill as a primary school in 1939 by the British Friars. It was upgraded to the status of a high school in 1956. Having St. Francis of Assisi as a patron saint of this institution paved the path to God through learning, which became the motto of the school. This motto still holds its significance very strongly even today. The school cradled through its initial years in the arms of visionaries who were determined to use the school as a medium to uplift the society. The school was fortunate to have Mr. William Dyes as its first headmaster, who along with his brother, Father Sylvester Dyes, served the school from 1965 to 1974. They were responsible for laying a firm foundation to this institution. During their tenure, the basketball court, the pride of OLGC, was constructed. Father Conrad Gomes took over in 1974 and served this institution till 1990. During his tenure, the school celebrated its Golden Jubilee in the year 1989. The reigns of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School were then entrusted in the hands of a young and dynamic brother James Joseph in 1990. He with his strict demeanor set up high standards of discipline both for the staff and students. The NCC took a different shape under his tenure. Father Titus Maipin served this institution from 1997 to 2001. During his tenure, the school celebrated its Diamond Jubilee in 1999. From 2001 to 2017, Father Carlos Dias served as a principal he introduced the interactive whiteboard to be at par with the changing technology. The responsibility of taking the school forward was then bestowed upon me, Father Salvador de Souza, in 2017. I ushered in a few changes to keep up to the changing trends. I am thoroughly amazed at the way councilites have reached great heights in the society in different fields. I see that they have created a name for themselves. I look at the past gone with pride and I look forward with a new spirit to carry on the legacy entrusted to me. Well, this is not the end but another milestone that we have achieved. 
I thank all the friars, teachers and students, both past and present, who swam against the current and kept the legacy of this institution moving on. May our Lady of Good Counsel shield us always.